What's going on y'all? So this is a little bit of a special video, uh, not on a normal video day. We usually have videos on uh, Tuesdays and on Thursdays. This is a little bonus because if you'll recall, um, we were at Stringjoy doing like a string tour and an interview with Scott, the owner. And of course he gave me some strings to, to try. So I've got some balance tension 13s on my acoustic and he sent me a set. If you'll recall, during that video, he kind of dropped a bomb about coated strings. We're, we're working on a coating that's micro thin. I guess I'm kind of announcing it here. Uh, it'll be in 2021. That's, that's micro thin and I believe feels just like an uncoated string um, and it doesn't get in the way of, of that tone. In fact, what we'll probably eventually be claiming is that I, I think it sounds even better than uncoated strings. He sent me a set of what he's calling String Lab 01001, those guys right there. And uh, these say right on them, coated phosphor bronze. So we're gonna try them because I don't like coated strings. Here's the deal though. I don't think these are officially out yet. I don't think they're like officially part of the collection. So we're not gonna do like an A-B test. I am gonna put them on the guitar and I am gonna play them. But he said, don't do an A-B test yet. Don't, this is not like some kind of final thing. But basically all this is, is to say, I think these things are coming and let's see if they suck or not. Because I hate coated strings. I told him that. And he said, I promise you, these things are gonna be better. I also didn't even open them. They're still sealed up because I wanted to get kind of that first impression. Oh, these have a tear off. That kind of first impression, like how do they feel in your hand kind of deal, you know. Cause like elixirs, for example, you can tell they're coated. So here is the 54, so this is the low E. Doesn't smell coated. So it doesn't feel coated like an elixir. When I pull an elixir out of the package, I can immediately tell it's an elixir. Even when we did those blind tests on our channel between elect electric guitar strings, I could immediately tell an elixir when I pulled it out of the package. You cannot tell. I mean, just by feeling the difference. I don't know, maybe they feel a teeny weeny bit slicker. But I can't even say that. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get them on the guitar and uh, I'm gonna give them a play and you tell me if you think they sound coded or they sound weird. Um, they don't feel weird so far. That bird, there's a cardinal outside the window, pecking on the window, like super pissed that we're here or maybe the reflection in the window, I'm not even sure. Super annoying. All right, just so you can see what's going on here. We got this really, really mad cardinal. And he's over here pecking on my window. <laughs> All through this video. What's the matter, dude? I don't know what his deal is. Anyway, uh, let me get these strings on this guitar and let's hear what they sound like. And the cardinal is back. We've scared him away like four times. Uh, so I don't know if this is necessarily much of an exclusive or anything, but I don't know how many videos there are out right now about string joy coated strings. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Um, let me just play this thing for you. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is not like some serious AB test cause we're not going to ABM. I'll tell you why I didn't in a minute.
So, a couple of observations. First of all, they don't feel weird and slick like Teflon-y, like um, elixirs do. Not at all. They feel like regular strings. Um, in fact, they still give you that string slide. You know, I mean, you don't obviously want that too much, but it just, if you don't have that, it doesn't feel right. Uh, they sound nice and bright. They don't sound weirdly muted like elixirs do. I, I hate that sound. My biggest thing is they feel right. They feel really, really good. Um, the other thing I'm kind of curious about is, and I don't know if I can actually do this in a quick fashion. We're just going to ruin a pick doing it. If you do that to an elixir string, you can actually peel the coating off. Here, let's get gnarly with it. Backside of a knife blade. Yeah, so it doesn't flake. That's my another big thing I can't stand about coated strings usually. Is with some playing time, you know, down here in the, the playing area, you'll get those flakes that'll come off, right? And I don't know if I can even give you a close-up of this, but when I did that with the knife, there was no coating coming off. And then you just get straight down to the phosphor bronze. So your coating's not going to flake off. That's a huge one for me. Okay. The reason I did not do an A-B test, number one, is because Scott asked me not to. Because this is like a limited release to see if these things are awesome or not. I'll tell you they're awesome. Scott, I think you should come out with them as soon as possible for the rest of the world. Because they are very, very good. Just first impressions wise. I'll leave them on there, we'll play them for a week, see what they feel like, and maybe we'll talk about it in another upcoming live video. I'll just kind of let you know how they feel, uh, you know, after a week or two, number one. Number two, uh, the other reason I didn't do an A-B test is because he sent me 12s, and I have 13s on this guitar, and that just wouldn't be a fair comparison because they're just gonna feel different, thus sound different when I play the guitar and they definitely do feel different than 13s. So um, that's why I did not do it. But I will continue to play these strings for the next week or so and make sure that you stay tuned to probably our live video on Thursday. I'll bring this up again and we'll talk about it some more and I'll let you know about it. Not this Thursday, but oh, this is Thursday. So next Thursday, I will let you know about these. Also, go to DylanTalksTone.com. The limited edition vintage moto shirt is available. Make sure that you get it before it's gone because it's only going to be up there for a few weeks and then we're probably going to replace it with something else. So make sure you do that. Um, all this stuff, I'm kind of doing like these limited runs of stuff. It's all based on like my own photography and digital art and stuff. So hopefully you dig that and you want one. That'd be cool. Um, so like I said, check out our five o'clock uh, live video on Thursday and our other videos that come out on Tuesday. And that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope you soon get to try these coated strings by Stringjoy. They're going to be killer. We'll see you soon.